Okay, so today, first grade, we are going to make a duck. And you can see the duck on the bulletin board. It's got a background. I'm gonna start by about a hand's length in, I'm gonna draw the letter J. Now I'm using a Sharpie so that you guys can see, but I want you to do it in pencil and then you can trace it over in a Sharpie. So I made the letter J. On this side, I'm gonna curve over the top, come down, then I'm going to give them some feathers right here. So there is my duck body. My next step is going to be to give them a beak. The legs, two little rectangles. Then I'm going to draw the letter V and then make some U's. So again, two little rectangles, make the letter V and I have some U's. Give your duck a little wing and I just like my duck to be kind of happy. So I'm making my duck with a happy eye. Now, for your background, you need to think of some spring things. And so you maybe want to draw a bee. Maybe you want to draw some flowers. You need to draw seven to nine things. We're not gonna draw leaves or, I mean, we're not gonna draw grass. So I would say you could draw a butterfly. We see butterflies in the spring. Your flowers can run off the paper, but one of the biggest problems people have are they make everything too small and then they get hard to paint. Let's see how many things I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have enough, eight, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with a bunch. So you need to have at least seven, but you can do a couple more if you want to. I'm gonna do another B down here because I thought my B was kind of cute. I'm gonna just color in my B body. Once you've done that, we're gonna use the warm and cool color paints right here. You're gonna need a little cup of water. We don't need it really full. And I have a big handled paintbrush, a purple handled paintbrush, and then a smaller handled paintbrush for some of the details. I would pick a warm color, like one of the reds or even the purple to paint your background. And I'm gonna do this kind of quickly. Don't forget with these colors, you want to make sure you have water. I like to outline mine first and then fill it in. And I don't know if I'm gonna spend the, have you film me watching the whole thing. So you can start to paint. When you're done with the background, you can go in and paint your flowers and your bees. So your duck's beak might be yellow or orange, and then you can use those other colors to paint the rest. Make sure you have your name on your project and you are also going to want to make sure that you put it on the drying rack when you are done.